and all the Vedas were reveal, revealed to our Rishis or known to them through meditation, yoga and sadhana or spirituality. I described a great deal about spirit. What is meant by spirit? One concept of spirit is our experiencing the divine. So, yes, we should, so Bhagavan Ramakrishna, Ramana Maharshi had experienced the divine. Now we have with us such a Sai Baba who is considered to be an avatar of Rishya who experienced the divine. In fact, is God himself who has come perhaps as a Kalki in this Yuga at this time in history. These are all important to know this because we want to know just because our civilization is 10,000 years old or 50,000 years old, does it mean it's useful to us? We should only take up such of those things which are scientific, rational, logical, experimentable, experienceable, utilitarian. So we utilize. For instance, last time when I mentioned to you that many of the scientific discoveries which are now ascribed to Marconi, to Leonardo Vinci, to Copernicus and many others are really belong to Pipalada, Bharatvaja, Aryabhatta, Bhaskara 1, Bhaskara 2, Shushruta, Dhanvandari and hundreds of other rishis who without equipment, without microscope, without any book in their hand, never seeing a human being, they had got this through Abhyasa, through what you call meditation and yoga and through bhakti and through sharanagati and God revealed to them. It's not true of Hinduism alone. Even Islam is supposed to have been revealed to Prophet Muhammad by God. He was illiterate, yet he wrote the highest of what you call ethical, moral values in Islam. In the same way, Jesus also uh, is reported to have got all his knowledge. Some say he got it from India. He was 16 years in India. During the unknown period of Jesus, Jesus was in Tibet, parts of Nepal and parts in India. And he learned all those things which he taught in, in from the Indian Rishis. Even Lin Yu Tang has written, Huan Sang has written, even the Chinese civilization entirely owes everything to India. India is considered to be cradle of civilization mother of the human race, great-grandmother of all European languages through Sanskrit, and great-great-grandmother of everything that is known in the world on science and technology through, which went to Europe through the Arabs, and Arabs described them as houses. For instance, one, two, three, four, decimals, infinity, etc., are all Indian numerals. Discovered by India, even great Einstein has said, the whole mankind will have to be grateful to Indians for having taught us how to count. It's a great pity that Indians are not knowing about it. Why I am saying this is one purpose of Shankar, Sri Shankara TV telecasting is to make Indians understand their past contribution. Why should they know that? Because in this century, thousands are going to come to India. Such a Sai Baba has got 40 million devotees. Amrita is reported to have 10 million devotees. Sri Ravi Shankar is supposed to have relate the followers all over the world. Hundreds of sadhus, Sudhir Chaitanya, Sandeep Chaitanya, Bhumananda, Chinmayananda, Shivananda. So many even people today are spreading India's message all over the world, not to convert them, not to make them Hindus, but to make them understand. Because we are the only civilization which said, Loka Samasta Sogino Bhavandu. Let the whole world be happy. Sarve Bhavandu Sokinaha. Let the whole world be happy. He also said, Ano Badraha Kratavoy and the Vishuddha. Let noble thoughts come from everywhere. Let it come from the Quran. Let it come from Alaska. Let it come from the Jesus teachings or the teachings of uh, Buddha, Mahavira. Wherever it is, as long as it's useful, as long as it's noble, as long as we are dharmic, we are prepared to accept them. We have an open mind. 
विल से ईश्वर अल्लाह तेरे नाम योर नेम इज ईश्वर फादर ऑफ जीसस और एस अल्लाह द इस्लामिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ गॉड एंड वी डोंट गेट इनटू द कंट्रोवर्सी एज टू गॉड क्रिएटेड आउट ऑफ क्लॉटेड ब्लड एज वेस्टर्नर्स से और आउट ऑफ नथिंग एज क्रिश्चियनिटी वुड से वी से देयर वाज नो क्रिएशन एट ऑल द होल थिंग एक्जिस्टेड राइट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग ऑफ टाइम इवन द टाइम इज अ कंसेप्ट of what you call avidya or concept called ignorance the concept of time came only after what is called the lower knowledge at the higher knowledge there is no concept of time at all so indians ought to have understood ought to understand this so that we can be contribute to the whole world india gives india is the only civilization which has kept itself to india and nepal in no other place indians are going they may go to spread indian message and thought and wisdom telling them if you like you take it if you agree with it you understand it or you reject it we have also got a place in india for non believers or called atheists meaning who deny god even them we worship them and therefore indian concepts are very unique profound sacred divine and what i would call spirituality i define spirituality in a very very clarified way about its relationship with prakriti last time this time i am going to go through the applied spirituality applied spirituality into the animal species that's what i'm going to do this time and third third set of series will be applied spirituality in respect of man himself animals are equally important to us the animals are not been created one religion has written that god created man and he created animals he created birds he created uh, plant life for the need of man we don't consider that way at all we consider even the food as our goddess yeah last time i mentioned to you annapurneshwari even anna is considered to be one of our gods goddesses and therefore the distinction is to be known why should we know that i described last time there is a tremendous amount of exploitation global warming pollution desertification degeneration of the species disappearance of plant species disappearance of animal species so much of growing violence so much of vulgarity so much of perversion distortion aberration and corruption going on all over the world in india also we are all aware that we are one of the most corrupt countries in the world there is no use of being simply going to temple 80 million people go to temple in india 